have here in the schema, we've uh, modified it so we can support multiple roles. Let's, uh, let's now go back to the, the model and make sure that when we create uh, a user, uh, that that user um, has the appropriate uh, initial value for, for the role. Uh, so for instance, what we might do when we, when we create a user, let's see, create user, um, what we might do here is make sure that the, uh, the, the user object um, has uh, a roles array, right, and it has the single value of user. So every, every new user that is created, we make sure that its roles array contains at least that value of user. Okay, and then we can add uh, more roles, roles uh, a little later. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, and let's, um, let's restart the server and create a brand new user uh, to see if that new user uh, has been added. Okay, so let's, um, uh, let's go to the here and let's load this. Uh, let's register uh, Brad. And let's register. Uh, looks like there was an error. Um, graduate user. Okay, now that was checking to see if the user existed, right? We never fixed that, but that's fine. Uh, let's uh, let's go to a database and, and see what is the uh, if we successfully created that. So let's uh, start Mongo and uh, let's um, show databases and we can use the um, that particular database and show the collections and we can uh, look at the graduate users and uh, find and uh, hopefully we have Brad here and there it is Brad indeed has uh, the role of user right down here okay so pretty there it is so uh, notice that Brad now is the only user who has roles because it's the you know we, we changed the schema uh, just recently all the other users uh, QQ and Andrew and Poe don't have any roles uh, so, so at least we have one user that has has roles, and we can certainly make him uh, an admin. Right? So, for instance, we can say, uh, you know, db dot graduate user uh, update, and we can um, update uh, the user whose username is um, whose username is Brad, and um, and we can update it and set update. The, um, the roles to include not only the user uh, role, but make them an admin as well. Okay, uh, and let's find the user again. Let's see. There we go. We have, br we have just promoted uh, Brad to an admin user. Make sense? Everybody good? All right. All right, so next, next we would like to be able to uh, use those roles to drive content, right? So that we can hide or show different parts of the application based uh, on those roles, right? And we'll do that next.